this, it really helps to draw little diagrams. Here's the original situation. We've got this tank, a mixture of acid and water. And we're going to let x equal the number of liters of acid, y equal the number of liters of water. And if we knew that, how would we calculate the percentage of acid? Well, the total liquid in this tank at this point in time is x plus y. And the percentage of acid would be the part divided by the whole. Acid divided by the total amount of liquid. And that's what we want to find, the percentage of acid in the original mixture. Now, if we add 30 liters of acid, this will be the situation. And if we want to calculate the percentage of acid in this situation, uh, X plus 30 would be the amount of acid in the tank at that time. And the total amount of liquid in the tank would be, add all this together, X plus Y plus 30. And we know that that gives us 70% or 7 tenths as a decimal. If we add 30 liters of water, this will be the situation. And percentage of acid would be the total acid divided by the total amount of liquid, which still has X plus Y plus 30, but that equals 0.5. Now, at this point, we've got two equations and two unknowns. We should be able to use the substitution method. Uh, we could uh, simplify all this and put the equation in the form AX plus BY equals C and use the elimination method. But I see a quicker way. I see X plus Y plus 30 in both equations. If I solve this one for uh, X plus Y plus 30, I'm multiplying both sides by the denominator. I converted this 0.5 to a 1 half. I can see that x plus y plus 30 equals 2x. And now if I substitute that into the other equation, x plus y plus 30 is 2x. I get x plus 30 over 2x equals 7 tenths. I've got one equation and one unknown. Cross multiply, solve for x. And I'll have the amount of acid in the original container. Put that number in for x in one of these two equations, solve for y, and then this is your final calculation. Whatever values you get for x and y, substitute them into here and you'll have your percentage of acids. So I'm going to leave you with that. Hope you can finish up the problem and hope this gave you some ideas on how to solve it. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.